we've got a treat tonight in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League as it's a battle between two of the top teams in the Premiership Division here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada at Collège Notre Dame. It is Penetrators FC against Peaky Blinders. Greg Naismith with you here on the call on Corporate Soccer TV. As we take a look at how Peaky Blinders set up, they own a 3-1 record this season for 9 points. Good for a share of 3rd place in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League's Premiership Division. And they'll be looking to leapfrog into 2nd place this evening. Meanwhile, Penetrators sit atop the division with a 4-0-1 record undefeated. Their lone blemish being a draw. They sit on 13 points. Penetrators in their black uniforms with white trim attacking from left to right. Peaky Blinders in their blue uniforms attacking from right to left. And there are your officials on the far side of the screen. Yassine Fakfar is in charge of this one. Peaky Blinders moving the ball up early in this one. You'll notice they have a player wearing a penny for his shirt as this one is out of bounds. This game has some extra meaning as last week it was a shocking up upset. A 3-0 result for Cafeteros FC against FC Jazz. Jazz were looking like the class of this division but they ended up losing their first game of the season. They were undefeated, really not challenged throughout the season until they ran into Cafeteros, a middle-of-the-table team who dropped them 3-0. So now, if we look at the table, as here comes Peaky Blinders sneaking through, trying to get to the byline. A low cross, sitting there on the penalty spot, back onto his left foot. He takes a wild swing at it and ends up into the hands of the Penetrator's goalkeeper. So if we look at the table now, Penetrators sit in first place with a 4-0-1 record for 13 points. Jazz had a game in hand over Penetrators when they played against Cafetero. However, that game in hand is now gone as they are 4-1 for 12 points, still in second place. Meanwhile, Peaky Blinders 3-1-0 for 9 points. And Cafeteros just behind them as here comes Penetrators moving up the field on a counter-attack. There's a long shot well over the goal. Cafeteros with a 3-3 three three record. Also 9 points, but they're just behind Peaky Blinders because they have played the two additional matches. LGQV holding down 5th place in the division with a 2-2 two two record, good for 6 points. Then looking down the table, we have... Stadium 5 with a 1-3-1 one, one record. The Keen FC with a 1-4-1 one, one record. And then Sky United still looking for their first win of the season. They've got just a lone point thus far. There is another game happening here at Collège Notre Dame on the field just above. So you may hear some whistles. As there's a goal kick hanging up there well over the halfway line on this 100-yard long field in Montreal, Quebec. Keep Peaky Blinders casual with the ball, and now they're on a bit under a bit of pressure, but they play it across calmly. Peaky Blinders had a bit of a scare earlier in the season. They were in a tough match against Stadium 5, who are a very interesting team, I think, in this Premiership division. As here they come spraying it out wide well. Right-footed ball through the middle. The man falls over the ball, however, and that will be the end of that opportunity. Here comes Penetrators back the other way. Playing it down the line, however, they are offside. Good eye from this official Bin Han on the near side. Peaky Blinders were down 1-0 to Stadium 5, a very defensively organized team. But they ended up flipping the script and emerging 3-1 victors. And it's a very short season in the Premiership Division this year. Because of COVID-19, we got a late start, only starting in early July. Usually the season is about 14 games long, but this year it's only a seven-game regular season. Every team playing each other once in this, seven, in this 18 Premiership Division. So every game is that much more important. Every goal is that much more important. 
And there's a corner kick coming up for Peaky Blinders here in the fourth minute of play. This ball looking to be delivered into the box. There it goes up towards the back post. Mistimed leap by that player. And they'll just keep it in. Two athletic teams. I think Penetrator's the slightly younger outfit. As this ball is onside. Looking for a cross. It's a low one sitting right there in a last ditch effort. Here comes a man running in now. But it's bullied away by a Penetrator's forward who is moving back. So there you hear one of the whistles from just behind us, not from Mr. Fakfa, the official today. Right now it's a throw-in. The one knock against penetrators early in the season has been that they are far, far from clinical in front of goal. They absolutely dominated LGQV. But they can only score. They're, they had a lot of trouble finding the back of the net. Nil-nil through the first five minutes here. And we saw the same thing against the Keen FC. Only two goals for them in a game that they more or less dominated against one of the lower tier teams. Here comes Peaky Blinders again. They've been in control in the early goings. Haven't even seen the Peaky Blinders goalkeeper yet, really, apart from a goal kick. There's a ball sprung out wide, defended well by the left back, and penetrators can move it away. However, Penetrators maybe got their act together recently against Sky United as they beat them 10-0. A drubbing at the hands of the last place team in this division. This their first real test. It's the first time that Penetrators are playing Peaky Blinders or FC Jazz, who are the two other top teams in this Premiership division. So this will be a big test today. And here's an early free kick. For Peaky Blinders. Getting ready for a left-footed delivery. It's a high one. It was actually an attempt on goal, and the goalkeeper is able to grab it. As we said, Penetrator is the younger team, mostly collegiate-aged athletes, as the goalkeeper is out there again quickly to gather it. Whereas Peaky Blinders have been around for a few seasons here in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League, and are experienced. They know the ins and outs of the uh, the season in the setup here. They slice this one up the field, and it's right to Penetrators FC. Springing this one wide, awkwardly handled off the bounce, but then he does get the head in there, and they'll try to break the other way. Peaky Blinders, a team with a couple of brothers or relatives on it. You saw in the opening graphic there were quite a few last names that were similar. So a good family atmosphere around this team as they move it out wide. They've done a great job spreading the ball around here in the early goings. They move it inside, but then they can't turn goalward. And their well-defended man takes a tumble, but the referee says get right up. There's a turnover and a long shot. Looked like it was probably going to sail over, but... Penetrators block it anyways. Peaky Blinders have been in control of this match. And now a foul conceded by the team in blue. Penetrators also had a hard time finding the back of the net against Sky United. As they... It took them a half hour to get their first goal in a game that they thoroughly dominated against the minnows of this Premiership division. But then, after that, they converted a penalty at the end of the first half and then they ended up cruising to a victory. They really became clinical in front of goal. And I think they actually got to double digits. 
Eight goals scored in the second half, but uh, they were far from clinical throughout that game. And they had a lot of chances against Sky United, but that's not they're not going to have a whole lot of chances against Peaky Blinders or Jazz or even Stadium 5 when they come up against some of the more defensively organized teams in this Premiership League. An overcast day in Montreal. This ball up over the halfway line. Knocked down. Not much support right now for Peaky Blinders, but now maybe they can spray it to this near side. That's where he was looking, but he didn't have any options, so he'll turn it back to where it came from. Now they look to move it along. And the one touch goes wayward. Penetrators perhaps to counter, but no, a defender's over there to slow down this attack. This one tossed up the field. Peaky Blinders first to it. And they'll get the second clearance as well. Now moving up the field, that left back. And it's called back and the referee wants a talking to. That one was a warning as he was marked tightly. Ball bounces through. I can't say that. And actually, they're going to keep that one in. Peaky Blinders caught napping for a second. Panthers keep it in. There's a ball through the middle. Cleared up rather than out. Bouncing ball headed well out and now further cleared. And now an opportunity for a counterattack. Well-placed ball, certainly on side. As they move it down the line, there's an option through the middle. He gets it through one. Cutting in towards the goal. And now jumping around another one, he falls down. No penalty being signaled that time. Peaky Blinders just weren't able to get the, up the field fast enough to provide enough support. Just as that ball was rolling out towards the corner flag, it looked destined to go there, but some real nice hustle from penetrators to get onto it. As there's a long drive saved by the goalkeeper. I was about to make the comment that I don't think the penetrators' strikers have really touched the ball yet, 12 minutes in. And really, I can't say any penetrators' players have touched the ball yet as... Well, they've touched the ball, but they haven't had much possession to be sure as Peaky Blinders have been all over them. Ooh, trying something fancy, the high foot there, and yep, that's going to be called back. And is there going to be more? The referee just calming people down. As this will be an intense affair, certainly. As we already mentioned, the surprising loss for FC Jazz changes the complexion of this Premiership division. This one headed back. I think it may have been actually a Peaky Blinders player who headed it there to his goalkeeper. So to be clear, should Penetrators win, it would be a big coup for them as they would then go four points clear of FC Jazz Mind you, they will have played an extra game. There's a nice through ball, a bit over hit and to the goalkeeper. So if they win this one, they'll be up to 16 points. And as I said, four points clear of second place Jazz. And then almost double as many points as Peaky Blinders and Cafeteros. Meanwhile, if Peaky Blinders win, they'll draw a level with FC Jazz and only one point behind Penetrators. I believe Jazz will still have the advantage in goal differential as they've had a couple of 
sizable victories this season, including 19 0 over Sky United. Now here comes Peaky Blinders trying to go through himself. It's cleared away. Now here comes Penetrators, but that touched much too heavy. Oh, and another poor touch from Penetrators. And play right on, says the official. Here they come ripping down the line, looking to cut into the box. But the defender recovers, and it's a calm play to knock it out. First corner kick of the game for Penetrators FC, and they'll move some players forward. Exactly on a quarter of an hour, a good opportunity here to open the scoring for the team in black. Good delivery right in there. Ends up falling down, calls for a handball not given, and Peaky Blinders will escape unscathed. Now they'll spread it out wide. Nice ball. Can they open up the defense? 50-50 here. I don't know. Actually, the Panthers defender is going to get there first, and he handles it well. Under pressure, though. It's a horrible turnover. Here comes Peaky Blinders. Trying the shot. Wasn't hard enough, and it wasn't well placed, and it was too far out anyways, and it was a simple save for the goalkeeper. But a mistake, certainly, from Penetrators. Nice ball up the field, trying to stretch them again, but again, the defender is right there. And Peaky Blinders made to go backwards. There wasn't enough support there, or space, so he ends up slicing it. And it's going to be a throw-in. Throw and zip down the line. And yeah, I thought I saw a shove in the back there on the penetrators forward. And so there's going to be a free kick right on the edge of the box. Nothing doing through the first 17 minutes. And so an interesting opportunity here. Almost. We'll see where the referee places it. I thought the foul was closer to the 20-yard line. And I think that's what the goalkeeper was just signaling there, but it's going to be right on the side of the box. Unfortunately, our camera isn't going to be able to quite pick it up. And yeah, the Peaky Blinders are going to ask the assistant referee exactly where that foul was committed. I thought I saw it a bit further up, or down the pitch, I guess. And yeah, now they're going to move it back as it's confirmed so an interesting chance here looks like it's going to be a out swinger as the official sorts out the two man wall goalkeeper placing them quite a few players committed I count seven right now in the penetrators or in the peaky blinders box seven penetrators players forward this one lofted in. It's a good one. It's was sitting there, and it's going to roll out for a goal kick. Although penetrators have the athletic advantage by the looks of things, they don't have the size advantage. So anything that was going to hang up there, I think, would have been gathered by either the keeper or a Peaky Blinders defender. Good game thus far, though.
on play, moving it forward from the back. This could be a game of youth versus experience. And we'll see how things progress later into the game. This one brought back for a foul. We always say, I say it on almost every broadcast, the biggest thing that separates the good teams from the not-so-good teams in this Premiership division is fitness. Who can keep it going? It's one thing to look sharp through the first 20-25 minutes of a match, but when you get into the 70th and 80th minutes, who's the sharper team then? That's usually the team that will emerge victorious, and we saw exactly that from Peaky Blinders earlier this year, where Stadium 5 looked to be in control. They got the goal off of a free kick. It was really their only chance of the game. And they were defending well until about the last 20 minutes or so when it all fell apart and Peaky Blinders got three by them. Ball down the line. Great first touch to bring it around the man. But then it's a nice recovery. He got that ball and it's going to roll out for a corner kick. Got the ball. Also got the man. But he got the ball first and ended up rolling out. Nice recovery from that defender. Peaky Blinders contemplating the short corner. And now it looks like they're going to put it into the box. There it is. Good delivery. Blazes right across the face of goal. Both teams claiming it. This one's going to be a goal kick. And you can just see, looking at the field, the size advantage of the Peaky Blinders players. I think we're having a... Or I thought we were going to have a sub, but no, no substitutions yet. 22 minutes in, or... Yep, now they are going to do a substitution. Looks like some fresh legs for Montreal Penetrators. Line drive goal kick. It's controlled, and now here comes Penetrators up the field, but Peaky Blinders slips in and plays it back to the goalkeeper. Or actually, this one's being brought back here. It may have gone out of bounds. Halfway mark of the First 45, no score, but an interesting match in the Premiership Division. Looking to extend the play. That's where they're going with it. But the man should have started, is, should have started from a slightly wider position as it would have been easier to track down the ball. Bit of a casual pass, but handled well by Peaky Blinders as they turn up the field. Looking to extend the play, didn't make it past the left back, who puts it right back where it came from. Peaky Blinders looking like the better team on the day. But Penetrators a capable outfit in their own right. Neither team would be satisfied with getting anything other than maximum points from this one.
And there's a mistake, a rare mistake, from either team, really, as it's going to be a penetrator's throw. Of course, we are using the yellow lines, as you see the throw in taken there. It's a slightly wider than regulation field. Graham Naismith here on Canadian, or corporate soccer TV, rather. You'll notice the American football line. So this field at uh, Collège Notre Dame, including the field up top that's also used by the Canadian Corporate Soccer League, is slightly shorter than regulation because it is American football lines. That's because the Quebec Stage Up college teams play American-style football instead of Canadian, which is a slightly longer and much wider field. So the field's only 100 yards long, whereas most soccer pitches and most football fields are 110, which is why it looks like these goalkeepers are really booming their kicks, and there's a drive that goes well over from penetrators. And the field is also, I think it's wide enough, and you can see there there's a good five yards of width added on either side. Meanwhile, the field up top that's also used by the league is the shorter field and also not quite as wide, slightly more narrow. They don't have those five yards extra that are extended. So there's another goal kick. Look at how deep it goes. It looks like he's really booming it, but in reality, that would be to about the halfway line on a regulation field. And that one just over the head of a defender, but Peaky Blinders can control it. This field, oh, and there's a turnover. Here comes Peaky Blinders trying to slide it in, but it's taken away by penetrators who really have their act together at the back. This field not set up for seven-a-side soccer despite the nets being placed around, as there are no lines to outline those fields. The Canadian Corporate Soccer League also offers 7v7 divisions, co-ed as well. It's a very interesting co-ed division this year. A couple of good teams who can take that division. Just a few weeks ago, we saw a good match between the two top teams, KPMG and PWC. PWC pulled out to a 2-0 lead, but KPMG battled back for a 2-2 draw, so that league's going to be very interesting as the season progresses. Here's a cross into the box. It falls down, and then penetrators knock it clear. Penetrator certainly playing a defensive-minded game right now. Haven't had too many options up the field. <coughs> they always say the best defense is good offense, though. And Peaky Blinders have had the better offense thus far today. However, they have not been able to find the back of the net. 28 minutes in. Nice work there. Playing it right through, it was just off his leg and out of bounds for the goal kick. Some nice one-touch work. This one headed along to the far side. And the whistle we just heard was from the field up top, so not for this match, as now they control it, looking to run onto it, and it's all the way back.
Peaky Blinders up top. On the end of it, but it's whistled down for offside. Looking for the long direct option. It looks like he, oh, he almost got onto it, but then he ends up bundling over the player who moves in front of him. And Peaky Blinders gets us back underway quickly. There's a turnover. Peaky Blinders looking for that one final pass. Goalkeeper off his line. Doesn't matter. They're offside again. And we're just being held up here for some changes to be made. Both of these teams competing for the title in this division. But it's goose eggs on the scoreboard a third of the way through the match. That one goalkeeper to goalkeeper as it rolls all the way down. Into the middle. Nice header forward. Good stretch of play here for Peaky Blinders. Looking to bring it around with the pace, but it's not there. He had support from the guy in the penny. But instead, it's a penetrator's player who's running along the track to get the ball. Goalkeeper not taking the goal kick for Penetrators. He was getting stretched out by a teammate. And we'll have to keep an eye on that, see how that storyline progresses through the game. You suspect he may have to make a few clutch stops against this Peaky Blinders offense. This one recycled back through the middle. Not much of a press being put on there by penetrators right now who are chasing the ball. That was a good string of passes put together by Peaky Blinders, but they've got it back now looking to get up the pitch. Penetrators moving towards the goal, looking for a low cross. It's off the defender. Now here comes Peaky Blinders with a deceptive burst of paste, or pace rather, down the line. And is that a corner being signaled? I believe it is. So they flip the field in a hurry, and they'll get a corner kick out of it. Remember, they have quite the size advantage over penetrators. And we'll see what they can do from this offering. Corner swung in, it was there, and then it ends up hitting a hand, I believe, or there was an infraction in the box. But that could be where Peaky Blinder strike off of a dead ball situation. Goalkeeper showing no ill effects as he blasts that one well up the field. It's not to any of his teammates, though, as the team in blue have it back. One touch ball out wide. Few options in the middle. 
Looking to skip through himself, but Penetrators get it back. Now what can they do with it here? They haven't had much possession as they lay it out wide. Need some options forward, trying to use his pace, but Peaky Blinders has the angle and they'll get it back. Now the press being put on, that's a smart play by the defender. Banking it off of the pressing forward and out. Five minutes from the interval. And we're still at nil-nil between these two worthy combatants. Or 10 minutes from the interval, we should say. Here comes Peaky Blinders banking it once again off of a Penetrator's player and out. Oof, that looked like a weak throw in, but they're going to let it go. And they'll get another try at it. And now they get him for the foul throw. For penetrators, they're left searching for answers as they have not had many quality opportunities in this half. They'll have to change something. They're young guys, they won't tire. But they are going to have to do something to compete with Peaky Blinders here. This one moved into the middle. Bouncing ball a bit too hot to handle. Although it's turned over here by Penetrators. And he goes to ground to prevent that one from going through. Stepping inside, beautiful through ball, but that one too heavy. Another booming drop kick. And that one an overhead clearance. Oh, calls for a handball there. Referee in a poor position to make the decision. Here comes Penetrators trying to move it through. They'll get it back here. This is a good opportunity for them trying to step inside, but the touch lets them down. Moving it out to this near side. Turning back in. Nice one-touch layoff. Good play here from Peaky Blinders. Can they get that final ball through to the goal? Low one. Misses the intended target, and the goalkeeper keeps it in play. Peaky Blinder stepping up the field, taking them on himself, but it's taken away and then cleared up the field. Well, it calls for a foul there. Play right on, says the referee. Trying to step around, but it's knocked away, so maybe some karma there. Although Penetrators have it back. They explode through the middle. Looking to move it out wide, and oh boy, it's just... It's not working for them today. There's just something missing as they move up the field. They are not their usual selves. The problem this season with them has been finishing off the moves. 
not so much getting the opportunities, but finishing them off, and now they just can't seem to create much. They're always a step behind. Not on the same page as their teammates whatsoever. Deep lying playmaker makes the move up, but it didn't get over the head of the defender. Now a hard ball down the line. Controlled by Peaky Blinders, trying to cut in. Nice ball movement here as they change the point of attack. They've got an overload out here. They're going to use it. Here's a good opportunity for a cross. Instead, he cuts in. Surrounded by Penetrator's player, surely a foul. And it is going to be whistled down. A free kick right on the edge of the box. Glorious opportunity here for Peaky Blinders. Nice work spreading that ball. It was almost a de facto 3v1 from the numbers out for Peaky Blinders, and they ended up using it. And they drew a foul. But in that situation, you can you could see the man in the penny clearly more comfortable with his right foot. And that's why you usually have a right footer on the right and a left footer on the left, because he could have got right to the byline and tried to whip it in. And say he tried cutting in, end up working out, but he was more or less surrounded when he cut in. A four-man wall set up here. Four penetrators. Can Peaky Blinders open the scoring? In the 41st minute. Big opportunity here. Right-footed shot, but it sails well over the goal. Opportunity missed. He was trying to curve it around. But ended up putting it just a bit too high. Nevertheless, good play from... Peaky Blinders as we're about three minutes from the halftime break. Just waiting for the goalkeeper to gather that ball after it was put over the goal. <laughs> and a Significant delay here. It's off camera. I'm not quite sure what's happening. I thought they were just getting the ball. And now, a minute later, we're set to go again. Hopefully, it's added on to the end of the half. No one from Penetrator is even close to that goal kick. They've got their flat back four, but they need some help up the field, and that ball too long, and it's going to roll to the keeper. Nice battle there. Looks like it's Peaky Blinders' ball. Panchers trying to skip through here. Two minutes plus stoppages left in the first half. And a bouncing ball just given away. The They just have not been able to maintain possession today, Penetrators. Perhaps it's in their best interest just to get a feel for the ball. Just try to pass it around at the back a bit. Because the possession numbers right now would be greatly swayed in the favor of Peaky Blinders. And here they come again. 
Good opportunity for a cross. That's where they're looking. Man free here at the top of the box. He ends up heading it. And then it's a Peaky Blinders player who clatters into the Penetrator's defender. That one hits the official. And... They're going to drop it in play as the ball is sprayed forward. And again, it just goes to nothing. They just have to try to keep possession somehow. And it could just change their confidence here. Mind you, it's been a very good Peaky Blinders press. And that's it for the first half. Nothing doing between Peaky Blinders and Penetrators. We'll be back for the second in just a moment on Corporate Soccer TV. And we're back for the second 45. Nil-nil after the first half between Peaky Blinders and Montreal Penetrators. Penetrators struggle to maintain possession in the first half. And Peaky Blinders more or less had their way with them, but... No goals to be had. We'll see if that changes in the second half. Graham Naismith with you here on Corporate Soccer TV. This is the Canadian Corporate Soccer League, the Canadian member of FIFCO, the International Federation of Corporate Football. Peaky Blinders with some nice passing. They showed off some good teamwork in the first half, but again, it came to nothing. Peaky Blinders looking to pull even with FC Jazz for second place in the Premiership Division should they emerge from this contest with full points. Meanwhile, Penetrators are looking to pull four points clear of second place FC Jazz, who, as we said, suffered a shocking loss last week, 3-0, at the hands of Cafeteros FC. Goal kick here for Penetrators. Contest in the middle of the park, and now over the top, it's just kicked away by Peaky Blinders. And now ball through, more or less, coming to nothing. We said it in the first half, as that's a foul. Penetrators really having trouble maintaining possession, stringing together any passes. Peaky Blinders, they had some moments in the box where they had some good opportunities, good looks at goal, but ultimately either the goalkeeper was there or it was blocked away by a defender. Here's an opportunity at the byline now, but it is enthusiastically kicked away by a defender. We do have a, excuse me, we do have a Peaky Blinders player out there wearing a yellow-green penny, which looks very, very similar to the referee's shirt color. Actually, we have two players out there in pennies, so that's going to be extra confusing. And right now, Peaky Blinders have a corner. They do have quite the height advantage over Penetrators. And there's the corner. That's trouble, and how did that one not go? Looked like only the slightest touch would put that one into the back of the net. Now Penetrators look to counter with pace. Getting it around. Now it's a two-on-one here with a late man coming back. That one through, but the goalkeeper's off his line easily, and he'll gather it. Well, trying the 
run through, but the defender saw it all the way, and now he dribbles around one, looking for a teammate. He's found one up the field, but then that's just some good defending. Enthusiastic closing down of the man. This one throwing in and then thumped down the field. Trying to run it down. And that was a shove in the back as signaled by the assistant referee. And once again, a reminder, we have, uh, as this one's moved on, it's a glorious opportunity for penetrators. And it goes well wide. It came out of nothing. It was a free kick. And I think it was actually nodded on by a Peaky Blinders player. And it found the penetrator's attacker and he puts it wide. Wow, a bad miss in the first five minutes. The flag stayed down and there were no real appeals for it. But that's certainly the best chance for the team in black today. And it goes wide. Those could be points missed. We said earlier, they've really, really had trouble with finishing off attacks this season. And taking advantage of their opportunities. We were just going to say there is a game going on behind us, so you may hear a few whistles emanating from that. Hopefully it's not too confusing. It doesn't seem to be affecting the players on the field as Peaky Blinders shift the point of attack. Bringing it down the field, harassed from behind, and trying to kick it right by. It's off of a defender, and it's going to be a throw. Or actually, is it a corner kick? Certainly looked like a throw-in. And that's what the call's going to be. Good throw in towards the box. It bounces in there. It's still loose. No one clearing this one convincingly. Now an overhead kick. Sky high. Goalkeeper under it. And he's going to gather it. And he was fouled in the process. Nevertheless, a good opportunity off of the throw-in. So both teams with chances inside the first 10 minutes of this second half. This one's going to be called back, and it looks like we may have a booking coming up. And there's a yellow card produced. First time the referee's taken a name today. I assume it was Peaky Blinders, and... Yeah, they are moving back the other way. The referee just sorting things out. And we'll be back to the action momentarily more openings in this second half ball up the field into the box headed straight up in the air now another opportunity he just dribbled right into the defenders and they'll come away with the ball here comes Peaky Blinders back the other way Goalkeeper out of his goal, and he'll gather it. And now there's a foul, and Peaky Blinder's not happy with it. The 
team in blue not happy with the officiating the past few minutes. And here's a free kick from 40 yards out. Now it's really a coming together here between the head official and one of his one of the Peaky Blinders players having to be restrained. I'm surprised the official will put up with that kind of abuse. And now a card is produced. Couldn't tell what color it is. For one, I'm very surprised that the official will allow him to continue after that verbal assault on him. So now we'll get back to it. A free kick from the 39 yard line. Dinks it over the top. And it's a bit too heavy and it runs to the goalkeeper. Now looking to extend the play. Peaky Blinders. Bombing his way up the field, now stepping inside. Lots of defenders in front of him, though, and he wasn't going to get through all of them. And it's taken away. Penetrators carrying it through the midfield here, trying to play it up, but then it's through the legs, and they just are very disjointed at the front. Just haven't seemed to be on the same page today, Penetrators. They've defended well, though, and they'll have to do some defending here, trying to shield him to the outside. He's surrounded... And it was inevitable. Oh, no, that's the... Again, I thought that was the referee. That's one of the Peaky Blinders players. So they do well to keep possession and recycle it back. And that pass going through too far. I believe we have a quick sub being made here. 12 minutes into the second 45. Will one of the teams be able to break the deadlock and find their way through? Scoreless draws are rarity in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League. We had one this weekend, the Keene FC and Sky United FC drawing their game. Actually, only the second draw of the season. The other one came when Penetrators actually faced off with Stadium 5. But only two null games thus far in the Premiership Division. That one well controlled and put back. Now 50-50 in the middle of the park, headed up in the air. Oof, and that was a high foot that caught the penetrator's player on the arm or the hand by the looks of things so the line of a free kick again another opportunity to put it into the box that's where they're looking not nearly high enough and that's always going to be cleared away Here comes Peaky Blinders on the counter-attack, but it's defended. Can 
can't really see what's going on on the far side in the shadows. I think it's a throw-in. And now they bring it back in. Now there he is, bullying his way through a long drive. It just goes wide. It somehow found its way through. He was surrounded by the looks of things, but just stepped around one player. And it somehow was a seeing eye shot all the way through. The goalkeeper made a diving effort for it, but it ends up zipping past the post. Now they're hemmed in, though, with a good Peaky Blinders press. Looks like they'll get an opportune bounce, however. Although now it's back into the midfield in a dangerous position. Looking over the top, heading it on. Forcing his man away. And they're going to signal that one as a goal kick. A half hour from time. We'll see what else is in store in this one. Peaky Blinders going on the dribble. Now they look to extend it. Putting one across. Nice control at the chest. That one up high. The flag goes up. And they're going to say it caught a Peaky Blinders hand. So a fortunate call for penetrators. As that ball was bouncing around in there dangerously. And that's going to be called back for a foul. Peaky Blinders playing it quickly now through the middle. Can they put together some, fa some passes and find their way through? That one a bit too long and it was read all the way by the defender. It just seems like Peaky Blinders always has an open player to pass to while as while penetrators are they seem to be forcing the ball, forcing it to the one player they deem to be open, as this one's over the top, headed well away. Peaky Blinders keeping it in play. Swinging it through the middle. That's a great ball. They're on side, trying to cut it around the defender. They bully him off the ball again. Right into the middle. It's a great stop from the goalkeeper. Now back the other way come Penetrators, but Peaky Blinders take it away. That time on the attack, they just used their will and force to bully their way through, and it was a great opportunity, maybe even a bit too close for the goaltender, or for the goalkeeper, rather. And he made the great stop with his feet. Now it looks like Penetrators have conceded a foul. Can Peaky Blinders pour it on here? Forty-five yards out, trying to put in. They do have the height advantage over penetrators. This one driven in and wide of the goal. It's out for a goal kick. Peaky blinders. Show life. And we'll have to see if penetrators can push back. If penetrators get a goal now, I'd have to say that it would have to be deemed as coming against the run of play. As apart from that glorious opportunity where they just walked into the box and sent their shot low and wide, I don't think they've really troubled the back line of Peaky Blinders as of late. And 
Yeah, that definitely is a foul throw. They've had a few uh, issues with foul throws. Peaky blinders, and that one you'd have to agree with the official. Just about 20 minutes gone in this second half. Penetrators looking for some width. Looking to get wide on the attack. And there he wasn't quite wide enough. Ended up leaving his teammate out to dry. Nice ball up the field. Another one looking through the middle. Trying a move. Defended away. And now they play it out. Nice through ball here. Is this an opportunity? He's forced away. He goes to ground. Get right up, says the official. A shove from behind. The chance was gone. But nothing there according to the referee. And a sub being made here on the other side. So that'll slow things down, but you can feel the intensity of the game picking up here. We should be in for a great finish at Collège Notre Dame in Montreal, Quebec. And the new players are back on the field, so we're set to restart. Oof, that was a high foot. Where are they going to place this one? This one just outside the 35-yard line here. Penetrators admittedly haven't had great service today off of dead balls. We'll see if they can get something here. Graham Naismith on the commentary on Corporate Soccer TV. That's a tantalizing ball, but it's not going to be attacked by penetrators. And now, ooh, they're fortunate that one was called back or they would have been in some kind of trouble as four Peaky Blinders players were dashing forward. And I think there was only one man back. One or maybe two. So they were fortunate that one was brought back for the foul. We're about halfway through the second half. Is there a goal in this one? Will someone take advantage of their opportunity? Fumbling the ball momentarily, but then getting it back. Goalkeeper out of his goal there, I guess preventing an option, but if there was a turnover, he would have been out to dry a bit. Ball sliced over the middle, headed straight up in the air. And now here they come driving forward, looking for the through ball, but that's going to be through to the goalkeeper. That's one of those situations where a slightly longer field could really change the that kind of attack. Peaky Blinder still going as they won a few 50-50s, but eventually does find its way to penetrators who are looking to create some players forward, but again, they're just not on the same page as one another, and they've turned it over. There's a through ball. Is this the opportunity? But it's right at the goalkeeper. Again, they strung together some nice passes and they're getting a few clear-cut opportunities now. Our Peaky Blinders. Will they be able to find their way through? Player jumping out of the way and the goalkeeper taking no chances. He wasn't sure if that was a pass back or not. Nice move. Playing it outside now. A rare opportunity for penetrators on the counter-attack. Looking to drive in. They end up playing it off the body and now moving it back. 
Nice tackle put in, and it looks like Peaky Blinders gets possession back. And they have nice defending on that play. Oof, that's a bad turnover. Look out, here comes Peaky Blinders. Something of a three-on-three three as they move it forward towards the box. The pass is a bit too long, but I think they'll be able to keep it in on the far side. Have some options in support here. Instead, he looks forward. Looking to work the one-two. Again, he's got some support. Stepping in. Is he going to try a shot? He is! And ends up flying wide. Didn't quite catch it on camera. Not a bad spot to take a shot from. And now, Penetrators with the goal kick. 20 minutes to go in this match. Is there a winner on the cards? Oh my goodness, it's a mistake off of the goal kick. Peaky Blinders have it in the box. Left-footed ball in. Just missed by the forward. The goalkeeper coming off his line, I think, threw him off. Just enough to miss the ball and have it roll out harmlessly for a goal kick. A miscue at the back nearly cat or caught Penetrators, however. Now they have a defender taking the goal kick, smashing it well up over the halfway line. And now another high foot call against Peaky Blinders. They've had a couple of those. Looking like they want to send it long, Penetrators. That's what they're going to do. High arcing up into the air. And someone committed a foul on the box. Two of the top teams in the Premiership Division engaged in a tight battle here at Collège Notre Dame. There was a substitution going on, so they'll hold it back here. This one up in the air to this near side. Looking down the line, but it's turned over. Penetrators trying to get it through the middle. They'll zing it to the far side, cut off with the head. And Peaky Blinders looking to build. Throw in bounces over the head of a defender, but he'll recover with that overhead kick. We've seen that a few times from him. Seems pretty deft at it. And now is this a one-on-one? -on -one? No, the defender's going to get there first and take no chances, but there's some number forward numbers forward for penetrators. And yeah, that was a foul. Quite sure what the delay is. And we've got a sub going on. And here we go. Can penetrators take advantage here as time ticks down in the second half? High arcing ball. Somehow deflects towards the goal and then it's repelled away by a defender.
here comes Peaky Blinders back up the field. They've got an option wide through the middle if they want to use him, but instead they go the more direct route. Nice passing here from Peaky Blinders. Looking for that final ball. They couldn't find it that time. They've got the ball back, however. Playing it out wide now through the middle. It hits a man in the face, I think. Nice closing down from Penetrators. But here comes Peaky Blinders opening for a shot. It's a goal. The opening goal of the match, 15 minutes from time. Well deserved from Peaky Blinders as they finally find their way through. And they take the lead over Penetrators. Another look at it. They just would not say die. And they get that opening. And it's a clinical finish from in close. To give their team a well deserved 1 0 lead. A good time to do so as well late in the match. As it really puts the pressure on their opponents. And Penetrators really have not shown much going forward today. Will there be a response? How will Peaky Blinders res respond too? Will they start hanging back with only 15 minutes to go? It took all of 75 minutes to find the opening goal. But we finally have one. Penetrators, their defense has looked so good all season and they finally break down. And what does this mean for the league table as well? It's going to make things really tight at the top. Three teams within one point of the lead as it stands right now, should this result hold. It's Penetrators on 13 points with a game in as that one's well over. Penetrators on 13 points and then Peaky Blinders and FC Jazz with 12 points each, identical four and one records however penetrators would have played one additional game over the other two teams Peaky Blinders battling for it here looking for the nutmeg it's forced away now it looks like Peaky will make a sub and they'll certainly try to slow down the game as well ball put in and then un unfortunate for Peaky Blinders it caught a hand this one smashed up the middle of the field bouncing ball it seems like Peaky Blinders has been winning those 50-50s as now here's an interesting one for the defender they just end up heading it back fancy control here Peaky Blinders coming forward once more trying a shot right into the safe hands of the goalkeeper Trying to work their way through. It's defended. And he skips away from a tackle. Oh, and that was... Well, that right there, I'm not sure it was a foul, but the Penetrator's teammate didn't do the man with the ball any favors. He was kind of just running away from him, not presenting an option, and it was a hard tackle. Not sure it was a foul, but they are going to take the free kick. Long ball over the top. Ping pongs around and it's coming right back where it came from. Only one man back. He's got to be careful with it and he heads it off to the side. Just over 10 minutes to go in this one. Do penetrators have a response? You'd have to say one more goal from Peaky Blinders in this pretty much puts the game away.
You hear calls for a press here, but Peaky Blinders do a great job breaking it down and moving the ball up. They turned it over, though. Now 50-50. He's hit hard, and it's going to be a foul. So now penetrators at this point, you may as well commit men forward. May as well put it into the box and hopefully it falls. And gets there for a teammate. Here it comes into the box. It's just sitting there and then partially cleared. And then penetrators have it cleared away once more. They could have tried a shot there from the top of the box, you'd think. But instead it was a weak pass, easily defended. And they're going to hold things up, allowing for a substitution to be made. one nil the score here, but you wonder the way the season's progressing if this is the last time these two teams will face off. The only Every team plays one another once during the regular season, but come playoff time, they'll be seeing each other again, and you wonder if these two will come together again. It would make for a very intriguing playoff matchup. Long throw in all the way over. Penetrators with some energy. They're going to run it down and force Peaky Blinders to break out with it. They launch it over the top. And then it bounces away from a Peaky Blinders player. It's been an even game since the goal went in. As two players fall. Unclear whose ball it's going to be. Looks like it's going the other way. Peaky Blinders play it up. Nice control at the chest. Looking to bring it to this near side. There's a man wide open down the side, and he would have been just sprinting for the byline had they been able to get the ball to him, but the left back got there, and it was vital that he did so. Nice step around. Oh, a couple of nice moves from Peaky Blinders as they move it forward. Onside is the call. Slipping it back in front. Look out. There's the shot. It's a goal. Very well worked from Peaky Blinders. Put it on the highlight reel as they really broke down the defense that time. And it's a two-goal lead, an insurmountable lead, you'd have to think. He was calm, he waited for it, and just smashed it in a perfect finish and an equally nice build-up from Peaky Blinders. And it's a two-goal lead, and you'd have to think that should about do it for this match. Well worked off the throw-in to get it to the byline and cut it across. And also, very composed of the player who put it home. Didn't try to rush it. There's a nice move. Peaky Blinders, are they going to get more against this stingy penetrator's defense? Almost sat him to the floor. And Peaky Blinders get it back. They're a very direct team. Don't see too many passes back from them. They like moving the ball forward. And now here comes Penetrators. And that one somehow rolls out and it's going to be a throw in. Well, we know now that Peaky Blinders are not to be messed with 
despite having the one loss, not a team to be messed with in the Premiership division. And Penetrators, well, they're not going to, probably aren't going to be undefeated this year. They're beatable. And again, you'd have to say it's going forward that's the problem. They've defended well today. But really, Peaky Blinders have scored two goals, and I'm not even sure if Penetrators have had two quality goal-scoring opportunities. And they're a team that we know are not clinical in front of goal. Peaky Blinders looking for more. They slip through. Trying the high shot. It's off the post and out. Now it's still sitting there. And eventually it's cleared away. It was a powerful shot. Rising right over. It beat the goalkeeper. Then rung right off the post. Almost off the angle where the post and crossbar meet. And deflected back down into the box. And Penetrator somehow cleared it away. Just under five minutes from time now. Nice throwing up the field. And now, they will, will they create the turnover? Moving the ball outside. Trying to get towards the corner flag, but it's kicked away. Throwing into the box. Is this a chance? No, it's defended away. There's still danger, however. Penetrator stopping it on a dime. Top of the box, they're defended very hard, though. And force back. Nice defense from Peaky Blinders. Mm, that ball's still in play. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's signaled down by the official who's in the shadow on the far side. Couldn't quite see it. Peaky Blinders moving it up the pitch. They have some more options up. And yeah, he looked like he was going to be offside, and he was. Three minutes to go here, and it will be a nice win for Peaky Blinders. They started their season rather auspiciously, but they're on a three-game winning streak now, and or they will be, should nothing crazy happen. High arcing ball forward. Peaky Blinders moving it up the pitch, looking for one more. Goal differential. You never know when it could come in handy, so you may as well keep going. Penetrators get it back, trying to drive forward, scooping it over the top. They're on side. Here's an opportunity, but they won't get the shot off. It's forced away. It's actually going to be a goal kick. Cutting inside. Good opportunity for a shot. You haven't really tested the goalkeeper today. Pulling it back. Real good opportunity. A Panenka forward. Now a ball across, but they were offside by the looks of things. And they'll pull it back. Now here comes Peaky Blinders moving it back up the field. And now they'll just pass it around looking to maintain possession. Nice turn on the ball there and he explodes forward.
Great bit of passing here. Why didn't they play like this all day? Certainly Penetrators are tired and they know they're out of the game, but they're very good in possession, Peaky Blinders, and then that happens. They've lost it over. Nice move nonetheless, and that is probably going to be the last action of this game with under 30 seconds to go. A big encouraging win for Peaky Blinders as this season progresses and Penetrators are left looking for answers. And that's it. A 2-0 win for Peaky Blinders and they pull even with FC Jazz in the Canadian Corporate Soccer League Premiership Division table. Thank you for joining us on Corporate Soccer TV. We'll see you next time.